uh, Canada is reinvesting in the CF-18. I didn't see this one. So they're putting money back into their legacy. Yeah, so it says Canada's decision to sustain its CF-18. Oh, there it goes. There it is. I can um, see it. Reflected its commitment to modernizing air defense capabilities amid challenges highlighted by a critical report commissioned by the Department of National Defense. They have awarded 100, well, 211 Canadian, 157.3 million U.S. sustainment contract to support the Royal Canadian Air Force's CF-18 fighter jet is ordered to maintain the fighter's operational readiness until the country's ordered F-35s were delivered. Uh, it operates nearly 138. I don't know what nearly means. Uh, that's a very specific number to be nearly. Uh, so great. they're going to get avionics weapon systems, supply parts as needed, and provide end-to-end -end supply chain services. Uh, and also the service life extension through the Hornet extension um, I guess program. I don't know what it's called. It's, it's, we've got to scroll just a little bit down. But slap. <laughs> service life extension program. Yeah. Uh, so, Gonky, I wanted to talk to you about Thanks, Doug. That's enough to get us going. So Canada, it was a big thing, maybe because I covered this on the channel. So maybe three, years four ago? years ago. Yeah, no, yeah, it's more recent than that because they were deciding because everybody used to ask me, like, should we get the Gripen or the F-35? And I remember thinking, well, the Gripen makes more sense. Right. Because, you know, Canada's not really like what what is their mission? What are they doing? And it was Super Hornets, the Gripen. The F-35, they landed on the F-35, so they could have gotten Block 3 Super Hornets. They didn't do that. They landed on the F-35, which is commonality with their U.S. partners, which was was cool. But then the F-35s obviously had some issues with production and, and delays and stuff like that. So now they're in the same boat as everybody else where they've got to bridge that gap. And the Hornet, I know, I think they got some super Australian Hornets. They don't uh, have well. Super Hornets. They're just, no, they're no, just Australian Hornets. Like when the Australian oh. legacy Hornets went away, they got some of those. Oh, yes. Yes, they did. Yeah. 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 So they got these, these Hornets and they've been just trying to keep these alive. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Gonky, the CF-18 is a little bit heavier than the A+, but it's, it's kind of like the, the C, C variant, uh, cause it's a little uh, bit different than the U S Hornet. Yeah. It's somewhere between an A plus and a C it has, those guys have the, a lot of the latest toys yeah um mm -hmm. they're definitely good really good airplanes right but they're, they're high aged time. they're, they're high aged time. Yeah. yeah i mean they're they're early 90s you know if you're talking the yeah. tails probably yeah. so he's early 90s yeah in hindsight do you look at that decision and go well you should have bought the gripen or in hindsight you should have gotten super hornets i think you know for a country like canada which I'm not here to make decisions for another country's defense. We're in the ready room talking, man. You can tell me anything. <laughs> I do just, a, a Gripen or a Super Hornet made more sense than a fifth gen fighter for Canada. One, dude, 100%, in my opinion, Canada should have bought Super Hornet. Um, so we had uh, one of my good buddies was the exchange pilot. And we hang out all the time. Good dude. Great dude. Uh, and he would tell me about the flying the Canadians. They've, man... He told me if if you punch out up in some of these territories where they patrol, oh, yeah. like you're dead. Yeah. Like the helicopter cold is lake. gonna take yeah, yeah, literally it's called Cold Lake, right? Yeah. Um it's right I in mean, the name. The you know, sure the F thirty five engine is great. I got it. But you know what? Uh a multi engine airplane for a country that has such like a tremendous amount of hostile terrain to me just makes sense uh I, you know i i i would i don't know i i Wasn't, think this, sorry go ahead i was just gonna say you, you know like a block three super hornet you combine it with uh you know the the extra fuel that it carries over the the legacy jet and even the traditional hornet you know you've got a lot of the uh electronic upgrades that keep it relevant i just think that it's a, it's a tough one to be plus the commonality i mean you have 30 plus years of corporate knowledge on the legacy Hornet. A lot of it transfers over. Um, and I just, I was surprised actually when they went uh, joint strike fighter, to be honest, F 35, uh, I was surprised. I didn't think they would go to a single engine airplane based on like 
the things that well uh, i was told so i mean it makes sense right in some ways it, uh, what made me think of it wasn't wasn't the when they were doing the decision wasn't the two little boys yeah. talking about the f-35 and the super yeah. hornet wasn't that part of their like wasn't that a commercial that they were using to try to sell the the super hornet over over the f-35 because the kids like it's invisible and for wasn't sure that, wasn't that I, part of when they were making that argument yeah it's you know it's been several years but clearly there was a lot of politics going on well I, what i was going to say is the reason i think in some ways it makes sense even though i don't think canada day one of the war is going to need a fifth gen fighter that's that's not how they have operated i mean they're one of our strongest allies they're going to be there but do they necessarily do we need we've argued this before on on this channel about do we need all fifth gen or do we need the workhorse block three super hornet kind of stuff but i understand their argument of we are us don't call them a small country for the love of god <laughs> but he did canada he just called you a small country i don't they're gonna, they're gonna politely so you won't be like turkey yay they will uh, yeah. politely hate us in the comments but um what i'm what i'm getting at is in that scenario you may not need it but i can understand the hey we're going to do one upgrade what are we going to do okay well let's get the latest and greatest that's plug and play with our allied partners and they're you know the cost goes down because we're buying into it this other country's buying into it and it will it will it's like when you buy the latest and greatest computer right you try to future proof it by buying the highest end even though that might not necessarily what be what you need versus what they actually needed was okay we just need a our cf-18s are getting old what are we going to replace them with block three super hornets here you go well you know somewhere in the middle they could have done and comparable in size really they could have done what the australians did which i think was a great idea you know that the aussies <clears throat> bought a small batch of rhinos bought a small batch of growlers and then they bought us bought f-35s you know i mean they could they could you know they leveraged their corporate knowledge they could see kind of the writing on the wall with the f-35 kind of what that was what was happening there which is actually sort you know sort of kind of what the navy did as well um but i mean i, I don't know man I, I just if i was a canadian fighter pilot uh i would i would prefer a multi-engine jet flying you know the way that they fly but it to me it makes sense that they hey you know we better we better keep some of these older hornets around because i mean they're still relevant they're the, the whole talk of you know fourth gen fighters aren't relevant in a modern battlefield in my opinion is only valid at the very very beginning even that i mean look yeah, at ukraine right <clears throat> look right. at ukraine look at the lessons we've learned yeah i mean I know. I mean, if it has an, I've always said, if it has an offensive capability, it's dangerous. I don't care what it is. <laughs> yeah, you're. I mean, airspace saturation, electronic attack, all the you know surface air missiles, seed everything. Yeah. It's going to be like. I think we're learning a lot about modern warfare in the current conflict, and yeah. drones. Yeah. Well, everything you, you know. talked about, you know, all the trons in the air. Guess what? You're going to merge. You better have a gun. <laughs> Or and the rounds. gun pod. Yes. Yeah. And rounds. <laughs> yeah, All right. More than